Hello students, welcome back. The, top, the topic that we are going to learn today is um, how to find out median for simple frequency distribution. Now it is the continuation of my earlier form uh, of my first video related to median that uh, how we will be calculating median for simple frequency distribution. All right. So let's get started. So median from simple frequency distribution. So here is the example. Find median from the following data. Okay, so this is the data given to me. Now, as you know, that simple frequency distribution means that for each corresponding with each observation, there is a frequency written to it. Uh, okay, so as you can see, for uh, observation two, there is seven frequency, three, eleven. For observation four, the frequency given is sixteen. Observation five, twenty six, twenty two, seven, twenty four. All right. So we need to know that how to find out median from simple frequency distribution. Now, okay. So the first and most important step when a simple frequency distribution is given, and you need to know the uh, median. What you're going to do is that you're going to uh, make a column for cumulative frequency less than. Okay. So this is the important step out here. What you're going to do is you're gonna come make a column for CF less than, all right? Because the value which will come will appear in this column, and we're gonna look for that value afterwards. Okay? So the first step is to find out median from frequency simple frequency distribution is to make a column of cumulative frequency less than, all right? Less than cumulative frequency column should be made. Okay? Now you know that um, I have already explained it earlier that how to calculate uh, cumulative frequency. Um, you can check my uh, previous videos uh, in which I have uh, told how to calculate the cumulative frequency less than, all right, and more than as well. But in this case, we're only only and only going to use cumulative frequency less than. Okay. So the next step is the formulation n plus one divided by two or summation f plus one divided by two. So 100 plus 1 divided by 2 will give me 50.5. Now where to search this value? Alright. So what we are going to do is since 50.5 lies in the cumulative frequency corresponding to 5. Therefore the median is equals to 5. Let's just go back to the table. Okay. So this class we were talking about why we have so we saw that 50.5 lies in this class see whenever we are looking for values half values 50.5 we're going to look for both values that is 50 and 51 all right so if you're looking for both of the values 50 and 51 we're going to look at which class they are lying into okay and how to check that see 54 see uh, if you look at the above class all right it's 34 34 it's basically the end point of this class one two three of this third observation the end point is 34 now above 34 till 54 all the values will be in this class all right the frequencies will be in will appear in this class the counts will appear in this class so 50 and 51 they both appear in this class see if i repeat it that this is the higher value of this class so above 34 till 50 above 34 that would be any value above 34 above 34 till 54 the value will all the values that comes after formulation will going to look in this class all right so 50 and 51 since both lies in this class and the observation corresponding to this class is 5 so a median value is 5 all right hope you have understood this that how to calculate median of this particular case okay so let's just look at another example the following table gives the marks of 20 students in a class out of 100 marks. Find out the median. Okay. So this is the table. Now as you can see, it's a simple frequency distribution table. Alright. The marks are 50, 55, 58, 60, 63, 65 and 75. And these are the number of students who scored these marks. Alright. When you need to find out median. The first step, as I told you, 
is to find out the cumulative frequency less than all right so this is the column for cumulative frequency less than the total frequency is 20 the next step is the formulation part all right so 20 plus 1 divided by 2 gives me 10.5 value now as i told you earlier that we're going to look this value in the cumulative frequency table okay so when we are going to look this uh, value in the cumulative frequency table it says that therefore 10.5 is the mean value of two middle values that is 10th and 11 in the given data so the median value will be 10th value plus 11th value divided by 2 that is 60 plus 63 divided by 2 which is equals to 61.5 now let's just go back towards the table all right okay here it is and see that why they says that the mean median value is the half value of two values which was 60 and 63 okay see the answer after the formulation we got is 10.5 and as i told you that we're gonna go for we're gonna look for 10 and 11 both values all right um, in earlier example i said that we're gonna look for both values 50 and 51 uh, 50 and 51 so for this example uh, the answer after formulation was 10.5 that means 10th value and 11th value now as you can see the 10th value lies in this class okay that is above 5 till 10th value all the values lies in this class and above 10 till 14 all the values lies in this class now the problem here is that our, we need to look for two values 10 and 11 10 lies in this class that is this but 11 lies in the other class all right so what happened that these two are actually my median classes i'm looking for 10.5 10 and 11 they both lies in different classes earlier in example we saw that both the values lies in the same class so we look we so look at the cf and we just look at its corresponding observation and that was our answer but for this particular case what we're going to do is since the there are two classes we just look for a uh, 10th value first the observation corresponding to 10 is 60 the um, value for 11 the observation for 11 uh, for 11 the observation for cf 11 is 63 so we're going to add these two values and divided by 2 to get the median value okay so this happens that uh, we saw two cases all right we saw when uh, when one um, actually we saw two cases out here when uh, after formulation what happened is that the answer the both answers lies in the same class and that was our final answer we declared it the observation corresponding we de declare it as a final answer but in this case we have cfs or we the position that we're looking for lies in two classes all right so we're gonna add the observation of those two classes and divide it by two to get a final answer so for median simple frequency distribution it is important that you first uh, make a column of cf then you use the formulation to find out the position and then you look for that position in the cf to find out your final answer i hope that you have understood this and now you will be able to solve simple frequency distribution easily thank you